hey, if you have a Dell Inspiron desktop and you've had it for a while, but now it just seems it doesn't seem to do the job. It's a little bit slow. It boots up slowly, and you want to upgrade it. But you know, because of the Dell, because Dell is a proprietary machine, I can show you some things. Let's get into it. So some of the things we're going to be talking about is replace upgrading the hard drive. The standard Dell comes with a standard hard drive, 5400 RPM. Well, if you change it and upgrade it to an SSD, you're going to boot up almost instantly. And then if I, I'm going to show you the right type of graphic cards to put in it, where that, graph, that, that machine will be cooking and moving on. Let me show you how to do that right now. So as you're familiar with the Dell Inspiron, the standard machine came with a 3.5 inch drive. Unfortunately, the power cable and cables were too sh are too short to reach the other bay that the machine came with, which is a 2.5 inch drive, and it didn't come with the inserts, the drive holders. But you can order them very inexpensively from Amazon, I'll leave you the link, and a power cable that'll connect to the motherboard. This will allow you to put up to 2.5 2, 2 inch drives and supply cable by connecting it right here on the motherboard. You can see that plug right behind the main power connector. And then you'll be able to, to connect up to three hard drives into this Dell Inspiron without having to worry about because of the proprietary power supply that is going on in this machine. Let me talk about something else you can do to this machine. The other problem, unfortunately, is you have a HDMI port and a VGA port, which means if you want to use a, a dual monitor system or, or you want to do any graphics, this system can't handle it. Well, the other problem you have is there's no connectors that you can use a graphics card that could go into the video board. So what you have to do is find a video board, sort of something like this, this is a Gen Force GTX 750 Ti, uh, but the main thing about this board is that it doesn't have any power connectors, so it's going to get all of its power from the motherboard. So I'm going to install that, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to pop this door open, and then remove the slots right here, and we'll install it. As you as you can see here, the video board has of course been installed. Now I have an HDMI, a display port, and a DVI port. In the old system, all it had was this, which was a HDMI, and a VGA, which of course is very slow input. So we're going to do this, but before we can actually get this card to work, we have to load the driver. Now, I've already downloaded this driver into the system, so I'm going to install it, and then we'll do a test and see how fast it's actually operating at. Now, let's talk about just some of the, the benefits that we've already seen. First thing, my boot time was, was approximately 1 minute and, and 10 seconds with the old hard drive. By putting the SSD drive, my boot time went to almost 11 seconds. That's incredible, for a minute and a half to 11 seconds. And you can see it, the, the disk mark is putting it at 4,500. Now, the old machine, the total rating was 1532 up to 2670. But the main number that you have to look at here is the 3D graphics. It, you had 11,000 versus 35,000. What does that totally mean? That means that my graphics capability went three times as fast. And not only that, I was able to add an, a high-speed HDMI, a high-speed display port, and a DVI port also for the third monitor. That, take, that took my machine from being <sighs> to, oh my goodness, I got a gaming machine finally. But there's one more thing we can still do to this machine to make it even better. Hey, I, glad, I hope this was helpful for you. Leave it in the comments if this was helpful for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please hit that bell button. To, I'll let you know the next time I've done a great vid video for you on how-to product reviews or anything like that. Hit the thank you button because that's how we support the channel. Use the product links that I've left for you in the for Amazon for any of the parts that we we did use today in the Dell Inspiron. That's how I support the channel also. And we have a check out my awesome t-shirt store which is growing with new grandpa t-shirts. Anyway, I love you. Have I'll see you in the next video and be God and be blessed. Mm -hmm.